Hey guys, so African Greys are largely known for their talking ability, but um, a lot of people also often describe the African Grey as a bird that's really independent. And in fact, a lot of people say that African Greys don't really like being petted, and they're pretty much just birds that um, like verbal interaction, but don't really kind of engage with their owners, at least on a really physical level, the way that cockatoos are. Smokes, come here. Good. So I decided to um, just kind of film my interaction with Smokey to see what's the answer to the question of are African greys affectionate and are they cuddly types of birds? Um, so hopefully after this video you'll get a better idea of um, whether or not African greys like that interaction or if the myth is correct that they're really independent hands-off birds. Give me a kiss. So before I got Smokey, I was actually really hesitant about getting a grey. Just because of all the negative things that I've heard about them. I mean, I wanted a pet that was really hands-on and one that was really interactive, at least physically. And a grey just didn't really seem to fall into that category. But um, after I got Smokey, it completely changed my mind and changed the way that I viewed African greys. But the purpose of this video isn't to convince anybody to go out and purchase or buy a gray. In fact, I'd actually recommend against it for most people. And that's because a lot of people um, have friends who have African grays who talk, or they see videos of grays who do cute little tricks, or grays who are really um, cuddly. And they get this misconception and they're misled into thinking that if they go out and buy a gray, that they'll have this perfectly um, affectionate bird in their house who will sp um, speak up a conversation with them and do really cute tricks for their family and friends. What people don't realize is that there's a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of um, work that goes into creating and shaping a bird to become this way. Personally, um, through my experience with Smokey, I found that she's a really cuddly bird. Um, there's no question about it. She's really affectionate, very loyal, and also very attached to me. And that's why sometimes I kind of call her my little cockatoo because, as you can see in the video, she's really, really sweet. So yes, greys do have the potential to become really cuddly and really sweet birds. Um, however, what I want to reiterate, and what I can't stress enough, is that the right owner for a gray would be somebody who's willing to invest time before getting one um, to research about these animals, to learn about what it's like and what are the requirements for keeping them. Everything from um, just selecting a cage all the way up into training them. Because without the research, without the knowledge of the behavior of these birds, what you're going to really quickly have in your hands is not that sweet bird that you've seen before um, at a friend's house, but what you'll have is a huge burden on yourself and on your family because you're going to have a gray that is going to be a huge biter and a gray that's just super aggressive. To prospective gray owners, there seems to be a circulating misconception that we need to somehow establish our rank as a dominant flock leader and to show our birds that we're the boss. However, if you think about it, in the wild, a flock of African grays can number over 300 birds. So to think that any one bird can have dominance over the other 300 is just complete, complete absurdity. Birds in the wild don't have a dominant flock leader, so our relationship with our birds shouldn't be one based on force, but rather it should be one based on trust that's built using positive reinforcement. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button below and click subscribe to show us that you care, and we'll continue to keep these videos coming. Until next time. Okay, now give me a hug. Give me a hug. Yeah.